Hey guys, it's Tony, Mac Media. Uh, I did a little short little um, video last night of the iPhone, and unfortunately there was no um, animations. As you can see there, you know, if you really watch it, you can see that the uh, clouds are moving very slowly. Uh, if you tap on this, it'll tell you the humidity, the um, wind, it'll tell you pretty much everything you need to know about that particular city, Albuquerque. Uh, now if I scroll back a little bit and resume it, or refocus, I'm sorry, uh, there's a really good one over here that I just found, Mexico City used to, usually has a lot of thunderstorms, but there's a place called Aurora, which I don't even know where it is, it just ended up on my phone. Uh, my daughters and my other um, children and wife and the family, they play with the phone too. There's Puerto Rico. I don't know why it's nighttime there. It's 4 o'clock. Well, I guess it's a little early. So, I was going through here and I found this. I found Aurora. So, this is what it does whenever you actually get a nice uh, thunderstorm. I does stay right there, a thunderstorm right up there. And then you bring it back here and then watch. Give it a second, it's gonna crack with the lightning bolt. There we go. I mean, and right in front of it, standing in front of this thing, it is bright. I mean, it is really bright. Like a like a real fight lightning bolt does. Sorry about my words are getting mixed up long day already so I just kind of want to just guys show you that that these are some of the animations uh, um, that they're Im implementing into the phone so you're gonna have a phone that is able to do stuff that we've been waiting for like four or five years to do I mean the first iPhone I know came out blah 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 3G was blah 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 introduced Apple Store 3GS you know we thought more we thought Apple what's up iPhone 4 came out and okay okay this is getting better then iPhone 4s came out and we're like what's up with this man then iPhone 5 now we're gonna have iPhone I've, I don't understand what the S's stand for anymore um, I haven't asked you know a couple of managers a couple of people I know on Apple since I worked at Apple for 24 years um, the 3GS stood for speed the other S's nobody seems to know what they stand for so that's what it looks like on a uh, animated weather on iPhone iPhone 5 with running iOS 7. If I get out, of course, you know, there's your stock. Here's your iOS 7. This is not jailbroken with all these little different tweaks. There's impossible to do that on an iPhone that's been jailbroken and tweaked. And it's impossible to do this on a Jeff broken phone that's been tweaked. So, uh, this is my calendar. Um, if I scroll it this way, I'll be able to see my full calendar. Actually, let me go back to my calendar. That'll be in the calendar area. I must have turned on my, uh, my auto lock. Let's see if I turn on my auto lock. Yep. No, I didn't. So I don't know why it's not turning to the side. Anyway, uh, let's try it again. I know that works. Going to the side, but it should turn to the side also. But I may be wrong. I don't think it does turn to the side. Oh yeah, it is. It's only a calendar. I never did it this way. Um, but anyway. Um, it does blur the background out in those nice little colors. You did see a um, a incoming sound uh, come in. So what I'm going to do is just kind of demonstrate that to you real quick in a video. I have my headset on here. So now I, I took off my headset from the phone because I had the phone in the headset. And then I had my little white dock up here. So sorry about this. This is improv. Um, and we're, I do a lot of that, actually. I get an idea, and then there's something that I forgot about. And I'm like, oh, well, let's do this real quick. 
So I, I improv a lot. Um, that, this is what it does when it starts charging. You stick it in charge. You missed it. Anyway, let's do it from here. Let's do it. You pull it out of the dock. And when you slide it back in the charge, it does this. It puts a green battery. It says charging times. But you missed that. It just says the charging time at the bottom of the battery. And then it goes right back to that. So let's go back into here. And then let's go ahead and call myself. I'm going to call myself cell phone. Uh, this is my daughter's phone number. So it's going to show up. So I'm going to go from bike feed. Uh, over to phone and then I'm just gonna do uh, history and I'm gonna call this one and this is what happens whenever you get a call on an iPhone 4S I'm sorry iPhone 5 now that's what comes up now if I turn on the sound It's on the, at the backlight comes on whenever you, when you get an alert or whatever the backlight comes on lets you get an alert of course the alert stop now um, it's going to my voicemail on my other phone over here so I'll turn that off uh, but uh, any phone anytime you call it let me do it one more time anytime you call it, call it phone an iPhone the backlight we can make it so that it'll flash to give you more of a the people that want to look cool or they can't see so that's what happens so people that can't see people that you know want to look cool or don't notice the phone that much you got that. I missed it anyway down at the bottom there is a slide to unlock down there and we'll do it one more time for to show all the features and then we're done all right didn't mean I to make this video like so, so long so when it comes call comes in there we go so down at the bottom you got this slide on lock it's very very small it's, it's not it's not like really really out there like say, hey slide on lock this is very simple right now you got a reminder, you got, you got um, slide to unlock reminder, and then call back at the other one. So that's how it works, and we'll do one more because I don't feel like I've explained it enough. And one more. All right. Last time. I was pointing with my fingers on my phone. Okay, so down here you've got slide to unlock. Very faint, but then I'll just hit remind me later. Uh, respond to respond with text. If I read a remind me later, it asks me how long later. Respond with the text. Uh, respond with the text. Uh, busy right now, I'll call you soon. I didn't see what the other ones are. I touched it. Anyway, it's hard to do that when you got a phone right in front of you and then your phone is like, you know, six feet away and your thumb is right in front of it. You don't, you can't see from the phone how far away you are from the actual other phone so I accidentally touched it right there that's touching the phone but when I was moving it around I didn't know how far away from the phone I was and I went boom it touched the phone so that's good enough um, uh, this phone is for sale uh, this phone over here the iPhone uh, 3GS it is for sale uh, it does have the um, video uh, screensaver that they put on the iPhones I put them on there because all my iPhones that I've set up uh, I have them set up on docks and all the phones that I've got I put you know the ones that are used that are out of the box of course I put this on them and for the appropriate one iPhone 4, iPhone 4 as iPad whatever because they all do different things um, that one doesn't come with one the HTC one is not for sale um, this uh, HTC Razer is for, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, Motorola Razer is for sale. This for sale and the one that you see, that you see behind me, 
taking the video it is an iPhone. So um, that is going. That's for sale too. So um, I don't drink beer. Sorry about that, guys. This is um, this is I guess brought to you by a root beer. Um, uh, that's Henry uh, Wise and Howells. I don't know what that says. I can't even read that. Henry Y. Wise and Hands. Henry Wise and Hands. We get to the light. Henry Henry Weinhardt. Wow. I can't see what my glasses on. So there you go, guys. Brought to you by Henry Weinhardt's root beer. That did. This is my gourmet root beer. This is like draft style. If you just like to pour it in a glass, this is what they come commonly use in some of you know sitcoms, TV shows, movies. That gives a draft look. But it's just root beer. So, um, I've been actually wanting this. A friend of mine turned me on to this about, I don't know, 15 years ago. He owns a, uh, he owns a place called Phoenix Vending here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And um, he had those at house. And I was curious. I like root beer. I'm kind of a root beer aficionado. I, don't, I haven't drunk brick and roll root beer in a, quite a while. Sorry about my words. Um, my throat cancer um, messes my my dry, my mouth is dry, so it uh, it's very hard to say words sometimes. But um, yeah, that's the beer. That's the beer he gave me. It was a long time ago. I finally found it and just stumbled upon it at Walmart. I'm sorry, Fry's the other day. And uh, I know I'm acting kind of weird. Um, just everything's been going on today. My mind is melted already. It's five o'clock. So anyway. There is the iPhone 5. I just wanted the one to show that to you guys. And it does give you a, um, a message here that Monica called because I have Monica's number in here. And it's showing up as Monica's number. So there we go. And then if you just slide it, I'll turn it back on. So you can see Monica, if I slide it, that size the whole thing if I just slide this piece it takes me right into calling her back because she saw me so my phone is ringing over there but my my audio is not on and I forgot how to turn it back up and I think I don't think I can even turn it back up right now even if I wanted to, you know, because I, I keep it turned down because uh, a lot of people call and I get, you know, notifications throughout the night. But that's it. We're done. That's what, call it, what it looks like when you call somebody. The person blurs out. You call that person. So that's it. Till next time, guys. Have a good one.